on the, on the uh, road again in a bit of uh, Edinburgh Climbing Arena for setting a competition um, which is happening today but I'm not needed there today so that's kind of handy so I thought I'd head out <clears throat> into the great wild and I came out to Loch Lomond this morning so yeah trying to get a long paddle in today a bit of training for the uh, for the um, Norfolk Broads and the obviously the 11 seas so yeah just up here it's beautiful it's quite busy the car park but nice overnight scenes so yeah, I'm just going to head out, head out across Lock Lane over there. Super, super nice. So the plan, I'm going to go kind of mid halfway up at the moment. I'm so I'm going to go I'm kind of in the narrow bit at the moment. So I'm going to head across or down because I'm some lake, uh, some islands in the middle. So I'm going to head down to the islands uh, around them and then back up. Should be about 30 kilometres, I think. That's the that's the plan. It's the distance plan. Um, yeah, so we'll just sort of see how that goes. Should be good. Yeah, sort of beautiful little spot. But first, coffee, a little bit of a chill, um, and then head off. There's my first island. You can just sort of see part of the pontoon there. It's the first island we've got to navigate, and then head out across the water. The, the conditions are amazing today. It's just a, a full mill pond, so should be quite good fun, I think. Should be good. First little warm up session done. Um, yeah, just gonna have a little stop for a little wee wee. A little bit of a snack at. Um, 7k done so far. So, yeah, perfect conditions. I've been chasing this boat all the way along the lock so far. And he stopped, and I've stopped. So, I've been running his bump for a bit. It's just been a bit annoying, but it's been also quite good fun as well. Just getting a little bit of side wash every now and again. But it's been good. Perfect. So, we made it down to the the lowest island, no idea what it's called, it's just there. Um, yeah, I'm sort of heading, gonna head back up. We're about 18k at the moment, so yeah, looking for a 40k day, which should be quite good. Um, yeah, just smash it back up the canal, huh? or back canal, lock. It's a lock, I think these things are called up here. Um, yeah, so head back up, have a little bite to eat, and then head up. Ooh, rock, rock. <laughs> There's a rock. Just a rock. Cool. I think I'm gonna have a bit more boat traffic on the way back up as well. So I'm on the road, gonna be on the roadside now, so have a little bit more boaty McBoat boat face. Um yeah, all going well. Yeah, we're into the next day now. We're Sunday. The rest of the paddle yesterday was really good. Didn't take much footage because it got a bit windy in the after like uh, on the way back up. So from the last island up across to the, where it sort of narrows again, there's a really good sort of side chop wind, um, which was definitely hard work, but sort of beat a crosswind a bit and, and then had kind of a good, good section of downwinding as well afterwards, which was good. And then the last bit where, where the lock narrows again, um, it was, yeah, pretty good downwinding condition actually. There was no bump really, um, but it was, yeah, it was just sort of a couple of things to find. It's quite interesting sort of on the way down through the lock because it was really flat any sort of boat wake or anything was just like ooh, 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 focus do this and then after sort of coming across the, the sort of the wind chop and stuff like that it wasn't massive but it was like good yeah sort of foot i suppose sort of wind chop but just going across and a bit of diagonal so it was just all over the place after going across that um the next section, whenever there was a boat wake, it didn't even, didn't even register it really. It was quite, quite good how your sort of your skill level changes after being in a sort of quite choppy water. Then you sort of just go back to like chilling and relaxing on, on anything that's like a little bit of a bump. So yeah, it's quite cool. Um, and yes, yes, chilled out yesterday. And then this morning, yeah, just got a little, just been out on the board for, a, for an hour just to do a little bit of uh, boy, boy turns, which was good. Still can't turn right very well, but lefts are getting a lot better. Um, I think it's a lot better to just fully commit to it. I think if I, whenever I try and do a little half boy turn, it's sort of, and I don't commit into it, it's just, I swear I normally come off. If I just go jump on the back of the board, yard it round and run back up it again, it seems to me, seems to be a lot more forgiving. I think just because everything happens a lot faster. I think, yeah, and your paddle's in the water a lot more as well. I think if you're sort of going around slowly, the, the paddle's not in the water that much. 
because you just like really long sweeps. Um, I think by not having the paddle in the water, you obviously lose that third leg, as it were. Yeah, we did. We make a little swim now, um, and then yeah, we run away, run away back to the south. Um, might stop on the lakes in the way. Annoyingly, I found this morning potential to stay around. I found this morning a perfect little dock start, so I said, might try that, but it would mean taking the straps off the board. Um, but that's not an issue. But yeah, might might have a look at that. But yeah, we'll have a cup of coffee and decide. Cool. Over now. Every paycheck we get. Ten percent is donated to clean our conscience, and it works out great. I'm higher, educate way I am all my degrees, my masters Hey, look at me 